To Monday Night Live with me, Dr. Rita Louise. And thank you all for tuning in tonight. Whether you are joining the live stream via Facebook or YouTube, I am so glad that you're here. So this is going to sound like I'm complaining, and I kind of am complaining. Um, but I want to share a couple of stories because they all revolve around pretty much the same issue. And um, okay, so my dog had a toy named that I called Slomo, and Slomo was this rubber chicken with long sideburns and a medallion and a short shirt. And he loved Slomo and banging him around the house and squeaking him everywhere. But after a while, Slomo became like almost decapitated, a uh, decapitated chicken. And so I wanted to get him a new rubber chicken to replace Slomo. And on Amazon, I found the same exact little rubber chicken but they had two different sizes. One was 11 inches and one was 14 inches. And so I wasn't sure how big Slomo was. So I measured him and he was 11 inches. So I ordered the 11 inch Slomo. And what I got in the mail is what I call mini me because if he was six inches tall, um, that would really be saying something. You know, I joke around that a man did the measurement. But yeah, so mini me was not slow mo, and there was like definitely this deception in the advertising. So the last couple of days, I've had a had a plumber come on Friday, and they, I had to go take care of something, and I left them here. And when I got home, they were gone. So I figured that the problem that they were working on a backed up drain was resolved. However, when I ran the water in my house, what I discovered that they unclogged wherever the drain was clogged up in the piping and clogged up the main drain leaving my house so that anything that was going into the pipes was now backing up my entire house and not just this one area. And so they ended up coming back today, you know, because they didn't do anything wrong. It was working fine, only to find out that they saw stuff come out of the drain and made the assumption because they saw this stuff come out that the problem had been resolved. But apparently they didn't decide to like turn water on anywhere to make sure that the drain was actually draining. So I didn't really get to use my water all weekend. And I didn't know because they didn't tell me because they didn't think anything was wrong because they just assumed that what they saw was right and psh, and I'm the crazy woman with no water. And then today, it's been a lot lately. I mean, this is why I'm bringing it up because it's a lot. So today I get an email. It wasn't even an email. So I was scheduled to do a radio interview tomorrow on an undisclosed show. And so today I got a notification via like Zoom or whatever, you no know, calendarly where you schedule stuff that the person had canceled the interview which was fine and then rescheduled it for in september didn't send me an email didn't apologize for last minute cancellation nothing just rescheduled it for five months away well i already had been waiting for months for this interview and it was like that pissed me off so i wrote back it's like oh so you're canceling me tomorrow and you're rescheduling me for september i mean she wrote back and we're going to do it later this week but it was just kind of like okay uh, I'm dealing with the plumbing issue and then this crap happens, you know, and this attitude that people seem to be having seems really endemic in our society. And it all really boils down to the concept of integrity. And, you know, I'm sitting here trying to like look at my screen to um, <laughs> read it. And I have a camera in the way, so I'm going to just slide over. 
you know, but integrity is a personality trait. It's, and this is a definition, it's the act of behaving honorably, even when no one's watching. People with integrity follow moral and ethical principles in all aspects of their, their lives. You know, and integrity relies on some very basic characteristics. Um, that didn't help me at all. Um, such as dependability, you know, that you keep your word, that you do what you say you're going to do um, in different situations. Um, it's, you know, and having, and with that dependability that you can rely on someone else to keep their promise. I mean, there's not anything worse when you make a plan with someone and in the 11th hour, they flake on you. You know, it's also about loyalty. It is showing up with a commitment to yourself and others. There's the aspect of honesty, you know, being truthful and acting in a sincere way, but it also implies owning up to your own mistake, you know, and then there's the one other part, respect, valuing other people's time, energy, and even their feelings, you know, and in all of these situations, this whole idea was just somehow lost and left off where it's like, well, I don't really care about you. It doesn't matter that Shlomo is only six inches and not 11 inches or 14 inches, you know, or that, you know, it took me a day to figure out that the puddle outside of my house was actually my plumbing line backing up into my backyard because they didn't think it was important to check it out. Or this woman just randomly changing an appointment without notifying me or talking to me or any kind of agreement at all, you know, and that all has to do with integrity and we can only give our integrity, you know, and really kind of expect other people to give it to us, offer it to us. But it seems like today that concept, that notion is just so far and few between, um, in all different areas, you know, you see an advertisement and you think, well, this is what I'm going to get, you know, <laughs> and, and it's not what you get, or they imply, oh, you can do all of these things and, you know, you get it home and well, it can do all of those things, but not really in the way that they made it out. I mean, that's just in a total lack of integrity on those people's parts. Um, you know, to me, it seems like, you know, for me, for me, being in my integrity is very important. So if I have a client and they're scheduled for three o'clock, I call them at three o'clock on the button. And if I'm two minutes late, two minutes late, I will apologize for being late. You know, and God forbid it's later than that. And it's my fault. You know, then I'm like profusely apologizing and tend to give them a little extra time because the mistake is on my part. You know, I'm the one that screwed up and should make up for the misgiving. You know, and so integrity to me is really about doing what you say you're going to do. So if you tell me you're going to fix my plumbing, freaking fix my plumbing. Don't make it that I have to call you up and you talk to me like I'm crazy or you sell me a product. Okay, here's another one that I'm dealing with right now. So my web page speed is very slow. And so I contacted my server people about possibly moving to a faster server. And the multiple people that I talked to all suggested that I buy this firewall package and malware and that should somehow speed up my site. So now $200 later, and I'm working through their tech support, it's like, they're like, oh, well, you need to talk to your web developer. Oh, well, you don't have malware. Oh, you don't have this. Oh, you don't have that. It's like, okay, but I just spent $200 on some bullshit that this guy just sold me that in multiple people's opinion was going to help solve my problem. And it didn't, you know, and it's just insulting and waste your time thus the flames in the background because and it's not just me you know if it was just me whining it would be one thing but you can ask anybody or you can look at your own life 
where you're the one on the phone chasing after people. You make a doctor's appointment and they don't return your call, you know, it's infuriating, you know, and so there's the impact that it has on us. But then again, we have to take responsibility. How much integrity are we in? You know, how much integrity are we offering the world? You know, I expect it because I honor my commitment and I honor, you know, if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. And if I'm not going to do it, you will get a phone call from me or a message or a text in advance, not five minutes before, not five minutes after this time is supposed to happen, you know, apologizing, making different plans, doing something else. And so it's a two way street. If you want integrity, you have to expect it from other people as well but we can't have integrity if nobody is willing to give it and nobody is willing to offer it um okay so i kind of like riled myself up there a little bit on my little talk about integrity but i just feel like it is so important and it is so lacking in today's day and age you know that commitment that we make with each other to taking care of each other, you know, and I just feel like it's missing in the world. Okay, I am going to take a couple of nice deep breaths now, because maybe we all should take a couple of nice deep breaths to calm down from my little rant about the lack of integrity that's on this planet, and us being forced to accept people's disrespect for who we are and what we bring to the table on multiple different levels. I really do need the breaths. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to open up the phone lines here or the chat room here in a second, but I just want to remind everyone, if you'd like to schedule a private consultation with me, and I promise I won't complain too much, uh, Go to soulhealer.com and send me a message and we can set up a time. Uh, don't forget to like Dr. Rita Louise. So not Rita Louise with the poodle and the tinfoil hat, but Dr. Rita Louise on Facebook, which will keep you up to date on these uh, live streams coming up. Or you can, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Just Energy Radio on YouTube. So you can like watch the stream on Facebook. You can watch the stream on YouTube at Just Energy Radio on YouTube. Okay. And um, just a quick note for people that were watching the show last week. And thank you all for tuning in last week. And I hope you keep tuning in every week. But look what I made. And this is probably going to be backwards. See, there it is. And you all know the joke. Okay, so let's see who, let's put this up here. Okay, so let's see who all is here. Hey, Miss Veronica. Hi, Kim. Thank you for joining us. Mary, thank you. How's it going? Hi, Dave. Uh, we have Gary in the house and Chris. Okay, so let me see if there are any questions. I just wanted to say hi to everyone. Uh, so Veronica loves this conversation. So I'm hoping that I wasn't like ranting too bad. Oh, and <laughs> okay. So this wasn't a complaint, you know, but I went, I stopped at a little Starbucksy kind of coffee shop and they changed, I drink chai tea and they changed their chai tea um, to this powder stuff. And other than having milk in it, which it, all right, I already finished drinking it and I'm allergic to milk and, and realizing that. But this stuff had like way too much caffeine or way too much sugar. And I've been kind of bouncing off the walls all day. Um, yeah. So it'll be an interesting show. Okay. So Mary has to say that's right on the money. Integrity is almost a lost concept on some. Sad to say. Yeah. It's just, it makes me crazy because, you know, in the work that I do, in the intuitive work that I do, my integrity is all I have to bring to the table, you know? So if I can't do something, I'm honest with people and tell them I can't do it or I don't know, you know, and, and lying. I mean, I can get their money, but I don't know. I just can't do it. I just 
can't do it. And it just amazes me that it's just so easy for so many people and corporations in particular. All right, so Gary had a question. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, Gary. Oh, he says, please, please pray for my mom. She fell a couple of days ago. She's in the nursing home now recovering from that fall. Well, Gary, I hope she feels pretty good, feels better. Um, you know, so when you're in like a nursing home or a hospital, there's not really a whole lot they'll let you, that they'll let you do. Um, You know, and, but I keep getting this image of like essential oils, um, you know, and so maybe do a little bit of research on, I'm not an essential oil expert, but I'm feeling like, well, one, you can get away with applying it <laughs> and they don't have a heart attack, um, you know, but something for, you know, like aches and pains or maybe even a homeopathic, I know they sell some like homeopathic arcana or however you say that word that are for injuries and apply that topically and especially the homeopathic ones because they tend to come in like a hand cream and they're made for like fibromyalgia and other like aches and pains and i'm feeling like that will really help her recovery and they won't have a cow of you like putting stuff in her room or giving her something to use um you know, they kind of frown on like you putting crystals under their bed and, you know, bringing them supplements. I don't know why. Anyway, yeah. Um, I hope she feels better. And everybody, you know, let's uh, just put out some good energy for Gary's mom. You know, that's just really hard. Uh, so Veronica said, serious lack of manners these days, hence ghosting. So is that your way of dealing with it, Veronica, is just to be like, okay, Bye-bye. Got to go. All right. So Chris has to say, that's ironic. I had a similar conversation with my husband about promises and integrity. So Chris, what is it? Promises and integrity with other people or promises and integrity with him? Hmm. Inquiring minds want to know. Hey, Miss Cindy. Hey, Julie. Okay, so Ellen, you're supposed to like schedule a private consultation for me when you want me to do like business work. Okay, so Alan, um, like my friend Joe, who's an excellent real, real, realtor, not realtor, um, also calls me because he has like housing issues. Um, hey, Alan, do me a favor and um, put you know, is it like White Oak area? Like put what area it is, it is, and I will come back and and respond to your question. Oh my God, Anthony! He's my friend, I swear. <laughs> oh, I know you're laughing on the other end. I couldn't help myself. Okay, so Ellen, I'm waiting on you. Veronica has a question. Uh, what causes these terrible cold chills this afternoon? I was going through CDs that have negative energy attached to them. Is that what did it or an infection and just a coincidence? Well, you know, Veronica, that's a really interesting question. And I've been having that happen like the last week or two, you know, where it's like one o'clock in the afternoon, two o'clock in the afternoon, where you think it's getting warm outside and I'm like cranking the heater up and putting a jacket on and then I'll go outside and do some yard work. And now I'm overheating. Um, I don't really have a great answer. You know, my thought was maybe it was my blood sugar because I, I don't really eat all that much um, during the day. Um, but see, now that you've kind of put that on my radar, I'm going to have to see if other people have... Um, or having similar situation or people in the chat room. If you've been noticing that, that you're doing okay. And then like in the middle of the afternoon, like between 12 and three o'clock where well, you're just getting these weird chills out of nowhere, because that again has been going on with me for the last couple of weeks. 
you know, sometimes when something happens, you think you're the, it's, you're the only one and you have to figure it out from your own universe. But there are a lot of other times where there are things happening on a more global level and are affecting a lot of people, you know, so I, I would love to hear other people's commentary on that. And no, Veronica, I don't think it has to do with the CDs that you were going through. You know, it definitely had more to do with what we, was going on with you biologically, um, you know, and I'm not really feeling infection, you know, I mean, blood sugar kind of resonates with me um, for you in this situation as well. Um, you know, not the CDs. I'm just going to leave it there. Not the CDs. Okay. So Chris is back. Okay, so Chris's question, have a diagnosis of a rare hereditary disease, no known cure, cure, losing weight fast, searching for a doctor with knowledge to help. Do you see that happening? Okay, so Chris, this would be my recommendation. You know, I get the impression that you've been kind of looking at, I'm going to say locally or regionally. And I'm feeling like you need to widen that search and really look all across the country, you know, especially with the advent of telemedicine. I feel like you can kind of weed through people that way. I feel like they've already done all your lab work, you know, or at least a really good base of lab work um, for you that maybe you can get copies that you would be able to email to other people. Um, so you wouldn't have to like show up, you know, you would just send them the files. Um, and I feel like that will change your luck, you know, but I feel like you've been kind of looking in your area and I'm not feeling that. I feel like you really need to widen that search up. Um, I feel like someone with the knowledge that you need to help are pretty rare, you know, and the number five, like there are five people that actually you know, I'm going to say specialize in what you have going on. Um, you know, you might find a small handful of other people that actually might have something to say, but are not really going to be helpful. So follow up if you want or need to, and let me know what you think. Okay, so Alan's back about his property, and he says that the property is at Buckner Terrace, which is East Dallas. Okay, so now I have to like think East Dallas. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So Alan, when I look at that property, one of the things that I'm seeing is that there is just, I don't know, there is just so much energy, especially in the ground and in the property. Um, you know, and I get the, correct me if I'm wrong, but I get the impression that even when you go in there, you end up with like some anxiety, um, that you're not really understanding what's going on. Um, mm. <laughs> you know, so the image that they're showing me, which is not really a doable thing is to drive like these giant iron stakes in through the ground from the, you know, in from the floor of the house into the ground. I know, I know it's not something that you can do. So let me see if I can think of something else. You know, and so, I mean, I think this will help a little. You, we had talked about grounding and <clears throat> visualizing that giant bathtub drain. I know I've talked to Joe about it. I think I've talked to you about that as well. Um, you know, I feel like that will help calm it down. There is just something really strange going on with that property. You know, with the land that that property is on, um, 
it would make me think that either the people that are living there and are selling have not been in the house all that long or they're really weird um, because they put up with that energy for as long as they have because it's not a comfortable energy at all. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. Would love some feedback. Signing off, Alan. Okay, so Anthony says, I miss you. You're such a good teacher. Tony, I miss you too. Um, okay. Thanks, Tony. Thanks for coming. It is so nice to see your smiling face, even though it's just like a little headshot. Okay, so Cindy says, I know what it is. I don't know what she's talking about, but we'll just keep going. Amy says, any suggestions for the super unproductive cough I've had for the past few months? Okay, two. Let's see, Amy. Okay. Well, this is kind of interesting, Amy. You know, your lungs seem, and this might sound really weird, but like they're a little bit swollen. You know, like they just, the airways just seem bigger. Um, I feel like you're having a little bit of an issue with like dust, not so much pollen, but dust. Um, okay, hang on one second, because I like to suggest, think, but then uh, verify. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, bear with me here a second. Okay. Okay, it will. Okay, so there is a supplement. So there's two things that I want to recommend. One, there is a supplement called Mullen, Mullen, M-U-L-L-E-I-N, M-U-L-L-E-I-N. That is for respiratory problems such as bronchitis, dry cough, asthma, and hoarseness, hoarseness. Um, and you can also use it as a diuretic and help with reduce inflammation in the urinary tract system, you know, but for you, it would be that kind of expectorant healing property um, of the respiratory tract. And for some reason, and you know, you might laugh at me, but that I keep seeing this picture of you literally taking like Vicks VapoRub and slathering it over your whole chest area so not just the throat but actually more in the rib cage area and lung area and putting it on before you go to bed wear a t-shirt so it can like catch all of it and sleeping in it overnight to just kind of help open up that tissue and help it to relax and respond you know they show me weird stuff and i just pass the weird along you know especially with something like vix you know the mullen i wanted to verify i knew it that it was respiratory but i wasn't sure if it was more for just thinning mucus or if it was also good for like a dry cough like you're also suggesting and so those are the two things that i would work with you know but i'm also feeling like again that there's kind of a dust issue going on um, you know, so I don't know if that's something that can be addressed in your home as well. You know, even if it's um, putting in an air filter, you know, and I am going to make another comment. I've had a number of complaints from clients about the pollen. I think it's kind of calmed down a bit at this point in time, you know, but about them having swollen uh, sinuses and, you know, uncomfortable sinus cavities. And depending on how your body responds to pollen, it could create a dry cough in you, you know, as more kind of an allergic reaction, you know. So if you've noticed it kind of calming down over the last week, then it would tell me that it's a pollen issue. You know, I'm getting dust, but I'm throwing out the pollen too, just covering all my bases here. Okay, so Mary, based on Veronica's post about chills, 
she says, yep, chills here too. Haven't really thought about it till now. I thought it was the weather. You know, Mary, and I thought it was the weather or my house tends to be like 15 degrees colder inside than it is outside. Um, but I'm not making the correlation because there are days that it's beautiful outside, you know, in the mid to high 70s and I still am, am cold. I mean, like right now, my, my hands are kind of freezing, but, but that's what they do. So I'm used to it. Oh, and so we have Heading Tarot Sarah. So if you would like a reading from Heading Tarot Sarah, whoever she is, but I'm sure she's a lovely bot, feel free to extradite her from this chat room. Okay, thank you. But she wants Patsy to inbox her. Okay, so Cindy says, so depending on where you live, it got really warm in Texas. Okay. Oh, Cindy, I think you should inbox Heading Tarot Sarah because she wants to give you an accurate reading. I dare you. I dare you to do it. And then you can, like, fill us all in on the dirt. Because <laughs> we're evil. <laughs> yeah, spammers are back. And Anthony, don't pay attention to healing tarot, Sarah, but she's like using up my time. Yeah. So Chris, you know, that's something that I would recommend um, is to get copies, especially electronic copies of all your lab results. If they can send you an a e version of x-rays, CAT scans, all of that stuff so that you have it at your ready and you know because it's that integrity thing all right i'm coming back to the integrity thing so my son punched his brother i mean this was years ago he punched his brother and we just feared he bruised his hand but you know three or four days are going by and it still hurts so i take him to his doctor they do an x-ray and they say oh well he has a fracture in his hand or whatever, you know, I'm going to send you to a orthopedic surgeon. So by this time it's three weeks later, you know, and he goes, Oh, and I'll forward the x-rays. We get to the orthopedic surgeon. Now I have to pay for new x-rays because the doctor didn't forward the x-rays like he said, and they weren't there for the time of the appointment. And then the orthopedic surgeon looks, looks at the x-ray, looks at his hand, and says, well, there's really not anything I can do. You know, it'll heal. And then wants me to pay like $300 for that visit plus two follow-up visits. And I'm like, are you kidding me? It's like 60 bucks for the out-of-network co-pay, specialist pay. I'm going to give you $60. Well, the doctor said you need three appointments and, you know, two follow-ups. And I'm like, why am I going to come here and follow up? When he didn't do a damn thing, didn't even give him a sling, didn't put an ace bandage on it, didn't like put a hello kitty band-aid on it. He didn't do anything. So why am I going to come back twice? Well, that was a pissing match. I was ready to walk out. They can eat their 60 bucks. But again, it's an integrity thing. So if you can control your lab results, the better for you, because they'll say they're going to forward them. But they don't unless you're on the phone with them 500 times trying to get them to do it. And so to save yourself aggravation, get copies of all of your stuff because then you will be better equipped of interacting with someone and you can take your own forward movement into your own hands. So that's my word of advice. It is the integrity way. I think I should make like t-shirts. The integrity way. Okay. All right, so Cindy is talking about a couple of weeks. Our blood thickens in winter and thins in summer. So our blood started thinning early, and then it got cold again. Our blood is confused. I don't know. My I'm always cold. Summer, winter, thick, thin. Mm. I have never heard that before either. Anyway, Cindy, so I'm not sure where you got that, but okay. All right. So 
So Veronica says she takes beetroot powder for circulation to help me stay warm. I'm still chilly. Hope it's not a virus or a COVID strain. Veronica, I'm not getting that impression at all. I just really feel like it's this time of the year. When I look at you, I'm not getting infection or COVID or or anything. You know, drink some hot tea. The beetroot is good. So, you know, just do what you need to do. Put a sweater on. You know, I put my heater on. I don't even care. Um, okay. So Chris said that she applied at the Mayo Clinic, no response yet. And again, it's the integrity thing. You know, you need to sit there and be proactive and just, you know, kind of stick your head up there or anybody else's proverbial butts. Yeah. Yes. And Veronica, that's the correct spelling. M-U-L-L-E-I-N. Um Amy, I got the liquid, you know, it comes in capsules. Um, I got the liquid because I felt like it would be more bio, my, more bioavailable, especially when I'm, you know, having respiratory issues in that moment. And when I use that in particular, you know, I'll put it in just a little bit of water and wish it around and then put it in my mouth and kind of like swish it around in my mouth so I'm starting to get um, absorption through the mouth, you know, and then into the stomach. Where if it's a capsule, it has to actually, you know, get into the stomach and start to dissolve, you know, and then you have absorption. If it's a liquid, liquid, it's going to absorb faster. You know, that's why I like, you know, ibuprofen, they make it in the gel cap that are fast acting because they're liquid inside and you're not having to digest the capsule or the pill. Okay, so Veronica, your honey, your salt water gar gargle. I don't know what that's about. Ooh, now we have another bot, Veronica Smith. Hi, Veronica Smith. Maybe we should all inbox, or not Veronica, Essence Lonic. Man, where do they come up with these names? Maybe we should all inbox Essence Lonics and spam them back for private readings. Okay, Amy, you are so welcome. And I hope you like stay and hang out for the rest of the episode and definitely come back next week for more excitement. Ooh, Essence is uh, prolific here. Okay, so Veronica is commenting, maybe our immune systems are dis disrupted from the jab, meaning the spike protein uh, that comes off other people. You know, and I wondered about that more in a generalized health way, um, you know, that people's immune system would be compromised from spike proteins being released by other people. Um, I don't think it would just give you those. See, the part that's the weirdest, Veronica, and I'm going to say this specifically, the part that's the weirdest is you're not having chills all day and you're not having chills that are coming in and going out and coming in and going out. It just seems like they're like in the afternoon and then they stop, you know, which says that there's something more metabolic going on than, you know, something broken inside of you. Okay, so I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Oasis? 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 I don't know. O-S-I-A-S. -S. However you pronounce that name wants to know, how do I get my smell back? Um, I have no idea. Can you kind of fill us in? Did you lose your sense of smell because of uh, getting COVID? Is that what is going on? Um, yeah. And if that is, you know, I have maybe have an answer if it has to do with, you know, losing taste and smell with COVID, not so much if you've lost it in general. I mean, because that tends to be more of a neurologic issue versus something that you can take some kind of a supplement for and regain that use as far as I'm aware as far as I'm aware. 
So Dave said, you know, and I'm assuming this has to do with the cold issue, iron, poor blood. And that's that's a possibility also. I haven't really even thought about it. Although, Dave, you know, I eat spinach every day, every day. So you would think that I would be like Iron Woman uh, with iron. But that is a possibility. You know, I mean, iron, poor, poor blood could give you something like that. So could, um, you know, a blood sugar issue. Well, this is pretty funny. Okay, you want to hear something really funny, especially if you're on YouTube? So Essence Lonic is messaging heading Tarot Sarah, the other bot that's in the chat room, wanting her to inbox her right away for a free private reading. <laughs> that's pretty funny. So Cindy, did you inbox her? I want to know what happened. <laughs> yeah, so Cindy said, scammers are scamming themselves. <laughs> it's true. No, Veronica, it's not thyroid. You know, because it, would, it wouldn't fluctuate like that. So, yeah, it wouldn't fluctuate like that. There's something else going on, and I'm not really, like, sure. Oh, Cindy, heading to our Sarah, Sarah wants to give you a reading. You should inbox her. All right, enough with that. Okay, so we have Emily and she says, hello, I'm practicing toward my goal of being a full-time professional artist. And I'll, Emily, I'm taking off one day. I am working on my goal to being a full-time professional artist, period. Will I have my own online art business or will I sell my art in galleries? That's a great question. I'm feeling like it's going to be a little bit of both for you. I feel like, um, you know, there's going to be your bread and butter art, you know, the smaller pieces, maybe less expensive pieces, but then there are going to be some larger pieces that um, you will put on consignment in some galleries, but that will also be kind of a marketing tool to get your information out, to get your name out, to get your artwork out in front of people. Um, but I don't feel like that's going to be your primary uh, income source. I feel like that's going to be more secondary for you. You know, once you build up some work, build up, you know, your business, you know, then you'll have galleries more likely to pick you up. Okay. <laughs> okay, so heading Tara Sarah said, okay, and then wants to know what's your zodiac sign, love? I wonder who she's talking to. All right, so now we have Mike McCaskill in the house, who I was supposed to contact today because it's Monday and I forgot until it was too late. Hi, Mike. Okay, and we have Richard Johnson who said hi. Richard, if you have a question, just go ahead and type it into the chat box and I will be happy to answer it. No questions about dead people, please. And I don't predict the future. So, you know, the question needs to be a little bit more specific. Or I'm going to reframe it in a different way. Okay. Okay. Emily says, thank you so much. That was very insightful. Um, you know, and Emily... I know you say you're practicing, you know, but when do you stop practicing and it becomes real for you, you know, and I think that you should start working on that store or setting up a little shop on Etsy, you know, or some other online shopping venues, not necessarily your own site, because one, that's a pain in the ass and it costs money to do and set up. 
But in some of these other places like Etsy or eBay, where you can start to get your name out there, start to get your work out there, you know, because people will look at it and potentially buy it. So, and then we had Rush come in and say, hey, 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 Rush, do you have any questions for me? I would be happy to answer them. I mean, like real questions about pretty much anything except dead people or predicting the future. Um, but that was the end of my list. Oop, new comment. Okay. All right, so Rush, I'm going to come back to you. But we have Joe, the other realtor in the house. Uh, Joe, you're as the two of you. Okay, so Joe has a realtor question too. Uh, I have a listing not selling, lots of interest but no offers. What are your thoughts? It's by Lake Country Club, Lakewood Country Club. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm just going to go out there, Joe, and say that this place is a two-story, and I feel like there's like some weird energy happening on the second floor, maybe in the attic, but there's just something going on up there that um, is a little bit unsettling to me. Um, You know, so, okay, so you know how I am with my weird rock thing. You know, so, you know, a, a simple fix. You know, Joe, this is a little bit of a hard form to really, like, dig as, I, as deep as I usually do. But um, get a piece, just a little piece of obsidian. All right, let me see if I can find a piece that I feel like would be a good size. You know, I mean, it doesn't have to be huge, just like something like that big, you know, just a little tumble stone of obsidian and put it on the second floor. If there's an attic, put it in the attic as close to the center of the house as you can to kind of like ground it and absorb any of that just kind of weird energy that's up there. Um You know, you should just call me. I'm just wondering, you know, and I don't really want to like ask too many questions here, but I'm kind of feeling like the price is maybe a little bit high too. Um, you know, that if you come down a couple of thousand dollars, um, it might sell faster, better. I don't know. There are some issues that we, that we need to talk about offline. Okay. So Rush says, why were my books stolen last month from my box? I sent out when I was counting on that to pay bills. So, Rush, you obviously came to this show late. <laughs> and the topic of the show was integrity, you know, and my commentary, thus the flames, um, was that people don't have integrity, you know, and people will steal your stuff because they don't give a shit about you and they don't give a shit about me and they just are thinking about themselves and that's all tied to this lack of integrity that people have you know and i don't feel like what was stolen was stolen from you because it was you i would feel like it was stolen because it was there and they could get it and they just took it period whether they wanted it or not you know it was they just took it because that's what they wanted to do. So they did. And I'm very sorry that that has happened to you. Um, but again, you know, the world gets crazier and crazier every day. And, you know, and I've said this out loud a number of times, maybe not on air, but I'm glad that I'm old because um, it, it's weird. Okay, Emily said... I was considering opening an ET shop, you know, and Emily, I think that would be a really great, easy 
an inexpensive way for you to start developing the skills of having an online shop, you know, which includes like taking the pictures, you know, of your artwork, editing them so that they look attractive, doing a little write up for them, because all of those things are necessary in having any kind of an online shop. You know, but one of the things with Etsy, I mean, there's a very small, like a 20 cent listing fee per item. Um, but what they charge is very, very reasonable. And I think it would be, again, a great place to start this process, you know, because you can decide, oh, I'm going to be a professional artist today, but it doesn't mean anybody's going to come knocking on your door you know, until you've been out there and working not just your art, but the business part of it for a while as well. Okay. All right. So, oh, now we have Re Vida. All right. So this is, this one's a long one. Richard Johnson, I received a vision about you during my midnight prayers and your spirit guide led me here at this hour to connect with you. I'm drawn to you for by universe of ancestors for your reading and guidance. Message me or send me a friend request. <laughs> and I guess she like tapped into everybody in this chat room because, hey, Mike, deal with Vita for me. And now this, wait, where is my popcorn? Mike, do it, do it. Okay. Okay, so now this is interesting. This is a first. So heading tarot, Sarah says, I'm not here to scam you. I'm here to help you, though I'm not here to get money from you. I'm astrological guidance. I help a lot of people with this energy. So heading tarot, Sarah, if you are here to help people, you need to go find somewhere else to help because you have no integrity. This is my live stream that I set up to work with my people not for you to come here and be a freaking parasite. So go parasite off of somebody else because you have no integrity. If you want to have a business, have a business, but not at my expense. Thank you. That was a public service announcement from bitchy Dr. Rita Louise. <sighs> okay. Okay, so do, well, I'm glad that makes sense, Joe. Yay! Okay, back to realtor extraordinaire dallas realtor extraordinaire joe it said that makes sense to me new house but they use some bitches pieces windows and doors from other house upstairs oh interesting very interesting you know so joe you know how i have you like go spray everything with the drain and the grounding cords and stuff hit those pieces you know, specifically, not just the room in general, but go clear those pieces upstairs. <laughs> okay, so Cindy, you turn Sash gets mad at me because I don't post some of the stuff she responds to these bot people that come in, like heading it's Tara Sarah. But I'm going to post this one because it's really funny. Thank you, Cindy. And so this is what she wrote. Funny, Vita Becca, I dreamt about you last night and you were not psychic at all. Such a horrible nightmare. <laughs> uh. Okay, so Rush was talking about his books being stolen. Did I like read your post incorrectly rush which you know i could see happen no if i read that correctly you know rush it, it doesn't have anything to do with you or your business or you minding your own business it has to do with people in this world having no integrity and doing whatever they want and not caring how their actions might impact somebody else, their lives and their livelihoods. Just like these body people that are in here going, you know, trying to drum up business from an event I created and I set up. 
you know, and they would all be kicked out. But I don't have the power and authority because of Facebook and YouTube to do anything about it. So I just have to like be mean to them on air. Yeah, where I, I'm just really sorry that, you know, they screwed you over. I mean, again, you know, I, I don't have an answer. I don't, just don't get that it was um, that you were being sought out. I feel like they just saw an opportunity and took it, you know. So maybe the lesson is you need to be a bit more careful, you know. I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you guys are killing me tonight. Maybe I should be cranky more often. So Veronica wants to know, and Veronica, you're killing me here. Are you able to test people for food intolerances in an app? Oh, oh, oh I thought you meant, am I able? I got it. I got it. Okay. I, I take back my laughing. Um, Maybe, maybe, and I'm going to say why I'm saying maybe. So if they are offering symptoms that are connected with the reaction that you might have to the food intolerance, then yes, you can use an app. You know, other than that, I can't imagine how it would possibly work at all you know, less symptomology, you know, so like I'm allergic to dairy and, um, and it was evidence to me when I worked at Starbucks to like milk products and I was steaming milk. And after two weeks, I had a rash that covered the whole palm of my hand and went up to my wrist and I knew it was the milk. I mean, I, I was shocked that it would create a reaction on my skin, but it did. Um, but people that are lactose intolerant, so it's not that they have an allergy, but their body isn't able to break down the lactose, which is why they can take the pills because they get a digestive enzyme. Um, you know, they end up having more issues with diarrhea and, you know, and like food poisoning type diarrhea than you would get if you have, um, if you have an allergy to it. You know, so if it's based on symptomology, um, then yes. You know, if it's based on anything else, then no, not really, not really. Okay, so it's almost time, and we're going to go with Margaret. Can I ask you if I should give my sister another chance or walk away? Good question, Margaret. Margaret, I feel like you've given your sister a number of chances. I also feel like you have spoken to her about what's going on on several different occasions. And so this is my thought, you know, just in the spirit of kindness and integrity, because today is all about integrity, is that you just be straight. It's like, this bothers me and this bothers me. And if you aren't able to do these things and it happens again, I'm walking away and just be straight with her, you know, because that's like you practicing your boundaries, you practicing your communication skills, communicating something that is hard or challenging for you to other people, you know, and then enforcing your boundary, you know, if she does that behavior again, that you do walk away. I mean, I feel like you're ready to walk away. I feel like this has been an ongoing repetitive problem and you shouldn't feel bad about it. So good luck with that. All right, so let's see. So Mary said that I'm just gonna read this. I just wanna say parasites are exactly what they are, lazy, people who don't want to work into legitimacy promoting their services just reinforces the fact that they are scammers and have no integrity okay 
All righty. So looks like we got through all the questions. Our time is up for tonight. So don't forget, if you would like to schedule a private consultation with me, please go to soulhealer.com, use the contact form, and I will get back to you right away or, you know, pretty quick. Don't forget to like me, Dr. Rita Louise, so not Rita Louise, but Dr. Rita Louise on Facebook to be updated on next week's live stream. Um, or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be Just Energy Radio on YouTube. And so I will be here again next week, same time, same location. I'm Dr. Rita Louise. This is Monday Night Live with me, Dr. Rita Louise. And so until next week.